Well, the ASB, the Tropical Partnership for the Forest Margins, uh, is the only global partnership that really focuses on the tropical forest margins and the problems that they face in terms of land conversion, poverty, forest uh, uh, destruction, forest uh, deforestation. And um, I'm very proud that the network, although started about 20 years ago, and indeed I was there at the inception, was one of the original uh, pioneers of the network in uh, Asia, uh, is still uh, going strong. In fact, it's growing better and better uh, every year. Most recently, um, what the um, global organizations have discovered is that the ASB Tropical Partnership has been the best source of solid scientific empirical results on the effects of deforestation on carbon and carbon sequestration. Those results have made uh, such organizations as the World Bank and others keenly involved with us in supporting the network in order to use that data, which is the only pan-tropical data source available, to answer a lot of questions with regard to the new climate change negotiations on reducing emissions to deforestation and forest degradation. So the, the network has become a gem uh, for the international um, uh, arena and as a result has uh, garnered uh, many new projects um, that our collaborators are conducting throughout the uh, humid, subhumid, tropical forest areas of the world. Well, I think ASB can move um, from its strengths in the humid tropical forests to take on more of the issues with regard to the drylands of the world, the dryland forests, which are under actually tremendous threat at, at present time and provide such a source of livelihood for tens of millions of people. So I'm hoping that the ASB will find the opportunity to build and broaden its leadership so that it can actually take on some of the key challenges of research uh, pantropically on the dryland forests uh, of the world. I think the other thing that the ASB uh, partnership is aiming to do, and I hope that it can really launch this uh, program in the very near future, is to get back down to the ground level, working with the cultivators <coughs> who are clearing tropical forests for subsistence and develop more clear directions for those people to be able to make a good living and to transmit or transform the areas where they have cleared forests into tree crop systems, which are the best solution for um, actually managing humid tropical lands in agriculture. Currently, subsistence farming is an extremely low profit, um, low level of livelihoods alternative, but farmers who live there have no other chance. Um, what we need to do is to accelerate the successful models that we have found, particularly in Southeast Asia, uh, for the rapid transformation of cleared areas to tree crops that can provide much higher incomes while giving much better sustainable land management alternatives to the lands that have been cleared. And by doing so, and negotiating along with them the protection of the forest areas, uh, the boundaries of the forest areas, we can find um, a more effective way of eventually declining and avoiding uh, deforestation. Reducing emissions due to deforestation and forest degradation, the red agenda, uh, is all about finding ways in which one can properly compensate com uh, countries and communities for efforts to conserve forests rather than cut it down. Uh, because we know that by cutting down forests you may earn some money, but the value to society is much, much higher than the amount uh, gained um, in the short term by cutting down the trees. The Rialu, or reducing emissions due to all land uses, extends that concept uh, because we know that the forests are not um, isolated from the rest of the landscape, the rest of the countries. We have to have holistic integrated approaches in order for uh, these solutions to actually work 
for people in the future. So Rialu is um, a um, pioneering concept to develop the methodologies for doing those, testing them on the ground, and getting them impl implemented by countries and international organizations. Well, we like to remember quite fondly um, what we call the voyage of discovery. Uh, it happened a number of years ago where we took um, a large number of top policymakers and donor representatives on um, a major tour in Sumatra where we were working at ASB sites on a whole range of problems. And we had a great time on that uh, tour. Um, and the people who were on it still recall those days. I still get comments about that particular trip being such a, um, an eye-opener for so many people who had been making decisions on these issues but hadn't been seeing what's going on the ground. And on a more optimistic note, uh, finding out some of the ways in which you can actually solve these problems uh, in ways that are affordable and very convenient. And so therefore, um, I think that particular memory lives on as one of the ASB high points and certainly one of those um, treasured memories that I will carry with me for a long time.